Good morning and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ellen Henry and I am a circus performer and coach. And well, as you can probably see, I'm a little bit sweaty right now, a little bit gross. And that is because I just smashed out my morning workout. Ooh, makes me feel so good. Anyway, so wetty, but that brings me to today's video, which is more of a vlog style one about what my training has looked like in quarantine. So one of the things that I almost always do is a workout of some kind in the morning. This morning it was a low to moderate intensity quads and glutes workout. And it was kind of more of a like toning workout rather than like a cardio or a high intensity workout. So that was good. So most mornings I normally do a workout of some kind and it usually ranges from HIIT workouts to moderate to low intensity workouts. And then I cover just about sort of like every part of my body. So I'll do full body workouts. I'll post some videos here to show you what kind of stuff that I do because I'm only gonna show you one day but I'm also gonna talk about what I do in like a week. I do everything from full body to cardio workouts to leg workouts to arm workouts. I do arm workouts a lot less than the other things because I do a lot of handstands as you've probably seen from my videos recently. So many. The great thing about quarantine is that because I've been stuck at home it's meant that I've had to adjust my training program which has been really good for my handstands because handstands are such an easy skill to practice because you literally just need your body and some floor and maybe like a bed to put your knees up on. So good. So in quarantine I've been doing handstand sessions three to four times a week pretty intense and I tend to alternate between two programs one which is more focused on strengthening my one arms and the other one is a bit more focused on back bending and other shapes with the way that my schedule is sort of like written out and how many times I train handstands I usually alternate days so I'll have a handstand day and then I'll have a rest day from handstands and, and I'll do other low intensity activities that day. So today is one of those days. This evening I'll be focusing on juggling and I'll probably do a little bit of like light stretching or, or yoga. And then so the day after that I'll do handstands and then on the sort of like rest slash low intensity days I will work on other things like dancing. I really enjoy dancing and getting my boogie on and it's also a really important skill for me to have that I can like pick up dances like quickly and have the ability to just like pick up dances because I used to be really bad at that. Quick story time. I took dances. I took dance classes at Circus University and we did things like ballet and hip hop and contemporary and I loved it but I was so bad at it. <laughs> Ooh, hip hop, mm, that was real cringe. Maybe I'll insert a little bit of cheeky footage here. Ooh. But yeah, I also like to work on my dancing skills. I find that I have a lot of fun also doing it. So if you're someone that struggles to find a training style that you like love and that will keep you fit, I highly recommend checking out dancing because it's just, it's so good. Like the rush of endorphins and like when you actually get those like dance moves and you're like, heck yeah, yeah. And even in quarantine, it's like the perfect time if you are like bored. It's also a great fun thing to do as well. And there are so many dance classes online at the moment. I'll list a couple down below. I think my favorite one so far is an Instagram account called The Sweat Spot. And they have a whole bunch of like different teachers at the moment teaching online classes and I believe Ryan I 
think it's Huffington, I hope I've said that right, he's like, or oh, he's got some of the funnest, like, dance classes, just real good, real good. So I'll pop those down in the description. But yeah, so that's kind of what my week generally looks like. The other sort of like rare off days that I, where I'll do something different is when I have like a complete rest day. So I won't do a workout in the morning. And then I also try and do a run once a week. And then also with quarantine, I try to make myself go outside at least once a day. I have a little like deck area where I can like go outside but I like to make sure that I get outside and go for a walk if I've been like stuck inside all day just like working on my laptop going like a bit stir crazy. So I found that that's been really good for my mental health and stuff so that's another thing that I try to do each day. Um, I know it sounds like a lot but I would be such a couch potato if I didn't do this and I would just feel so gross about myself. Like the whole reason why I like train like this and I've like created my program like this is because it's a little bit sort of like in the morning and the evening and then I do some work throughout the day where I really like sit a lot and kind of use my brain a lot. So I find it really good actually the way that I've designed by program is super helpful for my mental health and with the introduction of like the walks and stuff that's also been really helpful because I find that just juggling at home in the evenings isn't always enough for me like sometimes I feel like I just want to get out and go for a walk and just decompress after the work day that I've had but I think that's enough rambling. I'll post, I guess, like my little weekly program down in the description if you guys are interested. Who knows? You probably don't. Whatever. So let's continue on with my day because I have some work to get done. Just looked at my phone. <laughs> it's five pounds ten. Whoops. So let's get on with this work day. And I'll see you guys in a little bit later on. Welcome to the afternoon session. <laughs> this afternoon.
afternoon is a juggling session. So I'm going to show you guys the juggling drills that I've been focusing on at the moment. And I'm also going to do some yoga after this. So, look.
myself down and it really sort of like centers and grounds me so that's why I've been really enjoying doing yoga I've mostly been using the Anya app I really like Shayella's yoga routines and then I've also been using a youtuber called Boho Beautiful she has some really great yoga videos on YouTube so I've been really enjoying them I hope you guys have enjoyed this video a little insight into what my training has looked like in quarantine if you have liked it please give it a like and share it with your friends and subscribe if you want to see more and click that little notification bell to be notified whenever I release a new video which is usually once a week on Sundays or Mondays and I'll see you guys next week. Bye. You are the worst. What am I even up to?